targeting mechanism by these companies are so good and I don't blame you if you succumb to it. Your best chance is to create a system to help you. In this video, I'll be sharing 15 things that I've stopped buying and I would never waste my money on. Make sure you also watch till the end where I'll share my thoughts on spending. Let's jump right into it. The first thing that I would never waste my money on is high expense ratios. What is an expense ratio? Think of the expense ratio as the annual fee that a mutual fund, index fund, or ETF will charge to cover its running costs. This fee is usually a percentage of the total fund that you have. So a higher expense ratio means that a bigger portion of your investment portfolio is paid to the investment platform, thereby reducing the overall value of your investment. This is why I only invest in low cost, broad market index funds, typically less than 1% expense ratio, instead of the usual 2 or 3% fee that you would see out there, thereby keeping more money in my pocket. You might say, Namdi, the difference between 1% and 2% is not much, but Look at the difference for two people, Ada and Shola, who invested £500 each monthly for 30 years and they are expecting to get an average return of 7%. Ada pays 1% while Shola pays 2%. After 30 years, guess how much money Ada has more than Shola? £100,000. Yes, £100,000. And this is me being conservative because usually a global index fund would usually have between 0 0.5, 0 0.2 and at most case 0.7%. While it's not weird to see 2% on some other more expensive platforms, a cheaper expense ratio will literally save you thousands if not hundreds of thousands of dollars or pounds over your lifetime. I use Vanguard and I have a video walking you step by step how to invest using Vanguard. You could check it out in the description below. The second thing you should never spend your money on or pay for is late fees. Just avoid anything that will make you pay late fees as much as possible. Late fees can even go as far as damaging your credit reports. To avoid late fees, set up an automatic payment for your bills and if it's something like a fine, make sure that you pay it within the grace period. It doesn't make sense to pay 50, 40, 60 or even 100% extra for something you would pay anyways. The third thing you should not waste your money on is bank account fees. The fact is a lot of us still pay bank fees in 2024. And the sad part of this is some of us don't even know that we are making these payments. These bank fees could range from overdraft fees, ATM fees, maintenance fees, transfer fees, or even for an added service like insurance. If you're aware of this fee and you intentionally choosing an account like this, then that's fine. But if it's not an intentional choice or an intentional decision, then you have to cancel that account and move on. If you're unsure if your account has fees attached to it, all you have to do is to look at your past bank statements to find out. The fact is there are many banks and accounts out there that offers solid service without a monthly or yearly fee attached to it. You don't have to pay fees. I have a favor to ask you. If you're finding this useful, please hit the like button. It tells YouTube that you've actually found this useful and also helps the channel a lot. While you're at it, do subscribe if you like personal finance content that is simplified and made easy to understand. The fourth thing you should not waste your money on is trying to impress people. Ah. Oh. This is not your fault. Trying to impress people is built into our DNA as human beings because we want to belong. We don't want to be an outsider. So to fit in, we try to impress people, which in turn makes us to buy stuff that we don't need or we don't like. That's why I love what Remit Seti preaches about living your rich life. The most important word in that sentence is your, because my rich life will be different from yours. Or in simple terms, What's important to me will be different from the next person. So it won't make sense and it will be a complete waste of money to buy things like luxury cars if it's not a part of my rich life or important to me. Don't buy what you don't need 
to impress people because it's not worth it. Instead, always ask yourself this. Is this something that will bring me joy and fulfillment? Or is it because I want to impress? The fifth thing you should not waste your money on is credit card interest charge. Do you know that the average credit card interest rate is 26.25% and some cards have an APR as high as 50%. The data shows that in March 2024, the average credit card debt came to 69 billion and the credit card debt on average per household is 2,477 pounds while it's 1,308 pounds per adult in the UK. For example, last month, my credit card bill on my Amex card was 2,540 and the minimum payment was 48 pounds with a 31% interest rate. If I only pay that minimum balance, I will not be able to pay off that card. That card will only keep growing. The best thing you can do with credit card is to one, pay in full at the end of the month. Two, only buy what you can afford and pay off. And three, if using a credit card is a problem for you because you overspend, either spend through a debit card or cash. The only winner when it comes to credit card debt is the credit card company itself and not you or your future self. The sixth thing you should not waste your money on is anything on sales. Don't get me wrong. If I need to get something, I try to find a sale, but I won't just buy something because it's simply on sale. Think about it. If you buy something you don't need just because it's on sale, even if you see 90% off, you are not saving money. You're actually spending that 10% to buy what you don't need. There is a difference between finding a good deal on something you need and buying something just because it's on sale. I have worked in retail and most of the time anyways, these things that are on sale are not really on sale, but you just see a price slash and these guys are actually using a psychological trick to make you feel like you're getting a deal. The seventh thing you should not waste your money on is lottery tickets. Do you know that the odds of death or injury by lightning in a year is one in 1,222,000 while the odds of dying from a honest waps or bee during your lifetime is 1 in 57,000 but the odds of winning a jackpot in the powerball drawing is 1 in 292 million we usually don't go around thinking we will die from some of those things i mentioned but the data shows that you are more likely to die from them than winning a lottery mr beast actually did a video where he spent hundred thousand dollars on a scratch and win lotto ticket Imagine how much he won. Just guess. He won only $66,000. He actually lost money and that just shows that it's not worth it. Don't waste your money on lottery tickets. The 18 you should not waste your money on is extended warranties. A new laptop, fridge, dishwasher, phone. Whatever it is you have bought, you must have been sold an extended warranty at some point. And my only hope is that you said no thank you because it's not worth it. It's all mind games by this salespeople. They make you feel like you're spending this much on this shiny new toy. It's only wise to insure it because you will feel bad if it breaks. But guess what? They don't tell you that every product comes with a manufacturer's warranty for a time period. And they also don't tell you that they will get a commission when you buy the extended warranty. <laughs> of course, they won't tell you. That's because they want to make money. Don't be the one that falls for that. The eighth thing that you should not waste your money on is games. When I was a teen back home in Nigeria, I spent a lot of money on games in a game shop because we couldn't afford to buy a game console. And then when I started making money, what did I do? I bought consoles to play games. Today, people even play games on their phones and that is the worst because these games you have to pay to get this or you have to pay to get that. And it's actually created to make you spend and waste money. I have seen guys, even ladies, who are addicted to a phone game and literally spend thousands on that game. I wouldn't spend my money on that because it's all a waste. The 19 you should not waste your money on is impulse purchase. It's so easy to spend money today. We have the apps on our phones, 
We have notifications, there are billboards, there are ads on our computer, and they are even in our emails. The targeting mechanism by these companies are so good, and I don't blame you if you succumb to it. Your best chance is to create a system to help you. Some of the things that I've done is to, for example, keep whatever I've picked in my Amazon cart for like three days. And if I still need to buy it after three days, I know it's really important. I've also deleted apps on my phone like Zara app, ASOS. And lastly, I unsubscribe from marketing emails that can make me spend impulsely. The 10 thing you should not waste your money on is luxury brands. I got to a point where I asked myself, do I like this brand or do I like what the brand does to me because I believe it's making other people see me or want to know, respect or admire me. If we want to tell ourselves the truth, most people only buy luxury because of what other people think. You look at IG and see the life of someone else without context. Imagine someone with a liquid net worth of $10 million a pound. And this person is buying a Philippe Patek watch of 50K. That is 0.5% of their net worth compared to someone with maybe 500,000 pounds or dollars or 200,000 pounds. Seeing that and buying the same watch, that is literally 10% or more of their net worth. In many cases, you can get the same quality or more for a fraction of the price from a brand that isn't considered luxury. Focus on getting the best value for your book. The 12th thing you should not waste your money on is souvenirs. Oh, traveling is something many of us love doing and that's a good way to spend your money. Creating memories, learning new culture, expanding your mind. But one thing you should never, never do when you travel is to buy souvenirs. You just end up cluttering your space. And some of you will say, oh, I need to remember the trip. But there are other ways and other things that you can do to remember the trip. Some of the favorite things for me is to take pictures and store them in the cloud. Create a personal blog to document your trips. Or just write your experience in a Google Sheet and save it or a physical diary. The 13th thing you should not waste your money on is what I call the latest fad. I mean the latest version of anything. Phone, car, gadgets. It's quite surprising to see people get into debt or get into more debt just because they want to get the latest tech. When their old one is not even broken. Why would you do that? Can you keep up with all the latest tech coming to the market? Every year there is something new to spend your money on. In 2024, if you want to save money or build wealth, you must be content with what you have and not chase after every new technology. It would only make you happy for approximately one second. So why bother in the first place? The 14th thing you should not waste your money on is underused or unused subscription. We all have something that we are paying for that we are either not using or we are underusing. If you don't even know what you're subscribed to, check your credit card and bank statement for any reoccurring fee that you don't remember. And then you do what? You cancel it. Do you need Amazon, Netflix, Hulu, Disney? All at once. If you tell me yes, <laughs> I'm sure they are all underused either ways. So cancel some of them. Or do you need that gym subscription that you never attend? You know what to do. Cancel. The 15th and last thing you should not waste your money on is fast fashion. From the name, you know it's not something that is meant to be long lasting. You're meant to get it rid of it quickly. Whether it's clothes or shoes, whatever, fast fashion is not meant to last. Imagine buying a shoe for 400 pounds and using it for a lifetime to buying a shoe for 50 pounds and you trash it because it's falling apart after one year. That's the model of fast fashion. They thrive on you using it for a short period and then coming back to buy. Consider investing in quality items and avoid fast fashion. One way that I buy quality stuff without paying that high fee is to buy pre-loved clothes. If you have watched this video till this point, thank you so much. This list is meant to inspire you to look into your own expenses and if you have to spend your money or your life, make sure that you spend it on what matters to you. Also, focus on value and think long term. Thank you for watching and don't forget again to like and subscribe for more like this. See you in the next one.